So I wanted to share with you today about how things are going with me being separated from Noel and how it's how I'm going uh, emotionally and physically I don't know if that's a real thing but my heart and all that fun stuff so Noel recently just left for Tennessee and she is now in Tennessee I'm sure you've already heard this if you watch her YouTube channel if you watch her channel but if you don't watch her channel uh, her coffee time show then I'll you know this is an update she's in Tennessee she found when we were still married there was a musician there and she was starting to do work to think about some collaboration with that musician and a uh, really cool guy we both um, had communication with him and he's really cool and very good musician and really good at the sound and the mix and mastering and all that stuff and so they seem to have work well together that way and so she's up there with with him and his girlfriend and she has a place to stay it's a little chilly up there so they have a space heater for her electric space heater so um, she's you know obviously still in the sprinter but she's uh, she's gonna be doing music in his studio with him so that's really cool and it was interesting when she did leave like she was driving away we draw, I, I got to see, I, I, we saw each other for just a few minutes uh, I needed a couple things and sh I had a couple things for her that I had brought with me on accident and so it was very interesting and a little hard to see her again after three weeks of not seeing her physically and giving her a hug and saying goodbye and knowing that I wouldn't get to see her again for I don't know how long it could be a very long time before we before we actually see each other again um, but thankfully I was at work and it was I was taking a break from work and so it was pretty busy at work and so I only had a few minutes and so that's a real godsend that I didn't have you know an hour to sit with her and talk and maybe try and or have her try and hold my hand and you know of course you know like it <laughs> and that would have made it harder to say goodbye or something so it was a quick it was fast and sweet or down or fast and sweet or down and dirty or I don't know how you'd say that but it was a quick meeting that went well and and the second she got out of the state you know and she was in Georgia heading up to Tennessee it just felt different like there was no chance for me to drive 10 minutes away 10 10 miles down the road to see her or she could have a weak moment to try to see me you know she's very far away from me now and she had mentioned how good it feels for her too that that's the case to be away from me and and really having some distance and so that's really cool and I just it, I feel free I feel ready for whatever's coming and for the people out there and and um, honestly I'm just really starting to to see other women and see wow that, how attractive they are not that I mean I'm not I'm still a man I've always known that women are attractive but I was so in love with Noel and so mono focus so blinders on I really didn't notice other women um, unless they were just drop-dead gorgeous I, I didn't notice them at all because I only had eyes for her and so to get comfortable realizing gosh it's okay for me to look at other women now <laughs> it'd be very okay for me to go talk or to flirt with a woman you know uh, those kind of things I just didn't you know those take time because I was in for so many years I've only had my blinders on and so I was talking to Will about this and he was laughing he's like hell yeah man they're out there what are you doing so I'm starting to and and it's I want it to be real and natural and I I don't want to just I've talked about not wanting to jump in and do another relationship at all in any way and so for me this is good it's it if it it needs to, it needs to take time to get comfortable around women again and seeing them as objects of desire where I never did before so it's it, it, it's gonna take the time it takes and I'm glad it's taking this time so that I can get back into it in a good way so that I don't do something unhealthy um, maybe fun but something unhealthy I don't want to do so and I need to find myself, which is the most important thing. 
So it's good to have her away and it just feels clean. It feels like Florida's all mine now. And there's, I don't have to share it. I don't have to think about her being there with me and just really being able to dream again and find that dream of my own. So hope everyone has a great day and I hope you like the update. I'm doing great and from my understanding, Noelle's doing great too if you care. If you don't care, well, who cares? Uh, she's a great person and I still support her and hope the best for her wherever she goes. And I hope the best for you too. All of us have a dream and a purpose and something amazing that we're meant to do. And I gotta find that thing for me. And if you haven't found that thing for you, clocking into a job nine to five for the rest of your life probably isn't that thing. So we should all find that thing for ourselves. All right.